Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, so today we are doing a Pringles can party favor, and the theme is Elena of Avalar. So I have never done anything Elena of Avalar, so I'm excited to do that. I wanted to show you kind of what we're doing are these Pringles cans. We are doing the one with the dome because we're gonna put foam balls in there, but you can see we have other options. If you don't do it with the dome, then you have the option of making it bigger and just more stuff. But all right, so let's move these out of the way for now. And let's start with Elena of Avalar. So I did print and cut. These are needle labels. I absolutely love them. Look at, I mean, these look like I bought them. Um, but you always want to do is you want to make sure that you have a backing for it so that the label goes on to your backing like so. And it's okay to have a little bit of the white showing um, because I wanted a little white to give it some, some color. So here we go. So everything is going to be layered. So you're gonna have this like this on here. And that's gonna be on the front of the can. Okay, so we've got that out of the way. Let's get one of our cans over. And you have your Pringles can here. So what you wanna do is on this paper, it's gonna wrap all the way around like this. So we just wanna make sure that we get a lot of tape down. So I'm gonna use my handy Tombow tape. Oh my gosh, am I out? Way too early for a blooper. <laughs> I just started. So I have also 3M sticky uh, double-sided tape. Um, this comes in a gigantic roll and I actually got it from like a company that used it and then stopped, didn't need it anymore and gave it to me. So um, I will have to get the order details for you on that. But these are easy to use. It's big. And I wouldn't worry about so much tape because what's going to happen is we're going to use um, our glue gun to put these toppers on to make it look really, really pretty. So, all right. First off is these hearts. They do have a top and bottom, so just make sure that you have it on the right way. And I sized it so that it's in the middle. It's not. It's not going to go all the way to the to the edges of the silver because we don't need it to. And so I find that it's a lot easier to put this on when it's not butting up there and you don't have to make it so perfectly straight. So just line yourself up down here and roll one direction because this is gonna overlap. I didn't put it on really, really well. Okay, so I can hear it. Okay, there you go. Um, I've seen some people cut the tags. I just like to fold it over so that it's easy for the kids to pull off the tabs later. Okay, so now that we have that, let's put on our bottom one just so that you could see that it covers this. So everything lines up easily. If you do the design space tutorial, I have all the dimensions for you, but I like this to line up with the bottom because then both your cardstock and your tin right here will actually sit um, so that you're not damaging the cardstock or anything like that. Also make sure to see where your label ends. So mine is right here. I'm gonna flip it all the way over so that I know it's there and then I'm gonna start right here in the middle. So I'm gonna put a little bit of my glue down just to get started. And then I'm just gonna hold it there for a second while it's drying. And this actually dries very, very quickly. So what I like to do is I like to run my glue gun along the tin rim and the paper. So I'm getting a little bit of glue everywhere to make sure that it really sticks on. So, all right. So make sure you get it on the paper and on the rim a little bit at a time. Get this over, make sure it sticks well. Okay, I'm gonna hold. 
hold that down for a second. I'm gonna get more glue. Okay, then on this side, same thing. I'm gonna take the glue all the way in. And you can see it lines up so easily. That's what I love about some of these projects where it's effortless to make it look good. That's the kind of project I'm into. <laughs> okay, so we're going all the way up to the edge. And I don't have it overlapping. I have it pretty much kissing the other tab. All right, so that's down. Okay, and then let's, oops. It's still dry, okay. All right, then right now let's deal with this. So with this, I wanna make sure that I have some double-sided tape foam stamps. So give me just a second. I thought I had it here, okay. So this is gonna give us a little um, bit of layers. And so you kinda of wanna be able to see that it's stacked. So nothing on here is going to be flat um, and you already have that here because the tin kind of pops up a little bit so there's nothing you wouldn't say that this is just flat on cardstock on cardstock on cardstock it's just layered more beautifully that way so all right so what you want to do is flip it over you want to get a couple of these down so that we get the different layers on and then i'm a little bit of a fanatic about things falling apart so not only do I use this, but then I also put it on um, with my glue gun. So let's line this up. So this is just so pretty. Oops, and I have some. Oh my gosh, I have it on my hand. Give me a second. The little glue webbings um, drives me insane. Okay, and it's still stuck on my picture, so I don't want that. You know what, I can't even get it off. So what I'll do is I'll put another one of her on. So good thing I always cut out two just in case. And now you know why. All right, so let's put her on. Okay, so normally we don't do that. All right, so I'm gonna lift this up and you can kind of see that there's a little bit of space, right? We want the space. And then what we wanna do is we wanna just glue it down to make sure that it really stays on. Okay, then we're gonna do it with this one. So on this one, let's put the, and you can actually, if you really want the layers, double up on this one. So I've just, um, bought a ton of different types of foam tape to try out. So I will let you know, but I bought this from Dollar Tree and the square ones, they had a much thicker depth to them and I like that look more. So I doubled up on that one. Let's put this down. Okay, and then on this one as well, and see, you can see the difference. That one has much more of a, of a gap, right? All right, so there, I got that on. So that looks just so pretty. Okay, so we've got that. Let's deal with the dome for a second. So with the dome, you all you need to do is, you can cut this off. There's like a little hole because it's an ornament. It's a fillable ornament. And you could either cut it off with a pair of scissors. So I'll show you right now. I'm like, I've done this a million times. <laughs> there, so it cuts off. I'm not worried about the edges because I'm going to have this little tab up here like this. So it's gonna cover that. But if you didn't wanna cut it off, I thought a cute thing would be is to leave that on and then put, um, a balloon through it so I have the string and then the balloons you know hanging up top and I think that would be really cute 
Okay, so we've got that going on. I've also turned on my um, mini, my Cricut mini, because I'm going to iron on this little piece right here. So this is her name. I love doing a lot of layers, but with the name, sometimes it's kind of difficult to deal with cardstock. So I always like to do HTV. And this is Glitter HTV, which is very um, sturdy, I guess I want to say. Um, you can see, like, I just picked that with my fingers, easy peasy. And then I'm going to put it on this red, and it's going to be so pretty. So you can read it really well, and it highlights the name really well as, as well. <laughs> All right, so... I'm just going to put this down and it doesn't take a lot for it to stick. So um, I want to just activate the glue enough to peel off this piece because this piece kind of holds back the heat from getting through. So that's, I mean, you can see that's on and look how pretty that is. Um, but I'm going to put this on and make sure that it's really sticky and really on here. I mean, obviously we're not ironing um, to wash it to make sure that it sticks on because obviously we're not washing this but look at how pretty that is okay all right so this is going inside the dome and hopefully it fits because I haven't measured it in a while so it's gonna fold so I'm just gonna grab a um, well one I'm gonna turn off my my mini before I burn my hand as I'm opening things up and trying to get to things and you just heard some stuff fall. So give me a second. All I'm trying to do is get a pair of, or a, a ruler. All right, here we go. I'm gonna take the ruler out and this way I know where to fold it. I'm just gonna fold at the edges. So this rectangle is welded on just so that I can fold it and prop it up inside the dome. So you can see it's gonna be like this, although I'm gonna want it more flipped back. So the way to get it to stick though, is we could just put a little bit of glue and make sure it stands up like this. But first let's put the name down. So on this as well, I'm gonna want to give it some layers. So let's put some stickers on, some foam stickers. And I am gonna double up again. So I think by doubling up, we're going up to, let's see if I can even see. It goes up to about a quarter of an inch. And I think that's that's the height that we kind of need to see the difference. All right, so here we go. So you just double layer. I'm gonna put the name on. And look how pretty this is. You gotta have the layers. You can read it more easily and the colors pop out and you just have everything there. Okay, so, and then you can see that. Okay. So I'm gonna fold this a little bit more and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this a little bit so that it will stay at a 90 degree angle. So, hold on, let me put my glue stick in. So I'm going to glue it and I'm just gonna keep my hand here so that it dries like this. So while that's going, this is the, these are the foam ball colors that I'm gonna use. I wanna add a little bit more red in because I feel like um, she's a little bit more red. So let me see if I need to bend that a little bit more, okay. And fold it back and then let it dry right around here. There, I think that's good. So it's gonna dry like this. Okay, um, what you need are bounce sheets. That's gonna get rid of the static for your dome. So I have the bounce sheet right here. Just make sure that you wipe it really, really well. These foam balls get everywhere. And I'm just gonna do one more wipe around here. I'm gonna mix in this one. So I'm gonna add a little bit more red because I think she's more red based, but you can see how they're sticking to the bag. 
and I've made the mistake of, oh man, spilling this, so. And they move. So, so you think that you have, I don't know, some sort of creature in your craft room while you're doing this. Which if you know me at all, I'm not down with that. All right. Um, and I have two shades of red. So let's just make sure that she's got that red, signature red. All right, and then we'll mix it up and see what kind of color we have. Where is my lid? Yeah, so I like this color. It's got a little bit of red, white, a little bit of purple and pink. Um, so we're gonna use that. So this is our lid. So what you wanna do is you wanna flip it over and it's going on this lid. So glue doesn't really work well. So what I've done is I've used my double-sided tape and I've used a few different kinds to make sure that it really, really sticks. So I have my 3M down and I'm just gonna use my little scraper tool. Make sure it's really down there and then pull this off get another stick on and then I'm going to use little circle dots <laughs> I know I'm just so paranoid about it coming off but I mean it's a it's a party favor and they're gonna be eating it so as long as it lasts that much I think we're good and here are these little glue dots that I like to use these are from the Dollar Tree. So I was su pleasantly surprised at how sticky they were. Then I'm gonna hit the four corners and then it's also gonna get a little bit of tape between, I mean, not tape, um, hot glue with the, with the white rim. So I'm trying to hit it with everything that I know to make sure that it sticks. Okay, I'm gonna hit one more corner right here and I feel like it's pretty stable. All right, so here is our top. It's gonna to extend past our top, okay? And I like, I did it on purpose so that we have space to glue down the dome and just for everything to fit, it just felt really, really good. So it's 3.18 inches in diameter for this circle. But again, if you follow my tutorial, you'll be fine. All right, so this is pretty much gonna be covered. So I'm not too worried about all the glue that's on there. I don't even know how this one piece got on here. I'm gonna try again to get it. But if you can't get it, what I found is using rubbing alcohol, it cleans all your smudges. Okay, so we have this on. We're gonna put it on this now. Okay, so it's gonna look like this so far. It's so pretty, right? All right, so we're going to put her little name down. So it's gonna go like that. Awesome, it's gonna look beautiful. All right, so let's glue this down. So now that we know that this is gonna be standing straight up, and let's make sure we clean this up. Okay, then I'm gonna put glue down here. Right in the middle. And then what you wanna do is you wanna put your foam balls in here. Then tilt this over, and in fact, what you're gonna wanna have is, if you drink a lot of iced tea like I do, I love having these things to kinda hold it for me. Okay, so I have this. You, you're going to hold it like this, and you're gonna dump it in, because we need to make sure, and we wanna rotate this to the back, okay? Oh, okay, hold on, I missed it. Okay, so from here, 
you can see whether or not you want to add more bubbles. And I'm going to add more bubbles because I can see that tab and I don't like that tab. Okay, so let's add some more. Okay. All right, so where's my little cut? Yeah, this is so crazy. I don't care how many times I do. Ah! Oh my God, I just slipped it all out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right, let me see if I can dump. Oh my gosh. It's so much. And it's everywhere. And I want it to be extra on this one. Oh my God. So you can see on my desk, holy, okay. It was, I was feeling it. <laughs> um, let me get this scraper over here. It was not feeling good, all right. Hopefully I got enough back in here that I don't have to mix a new bottle. Okay, let's dump the rest of this in here. Okay, let's try it again. I don't know why, you know what? I must have not cut this properly because it wants to keep slipping. It's driving me insane. Okay, so we want it on and then we want to glue it. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, it keeps slipping over. I better start gluing it before I have another mishap. Okay, so I want to put it down a little bit. All right, I'm going to start gluing it. All right, so take your glue gun and hit that top rim. There should be enough paper to hold down your dome. And just remember, we're gonna have that white rim all, all around it. So it's gonna cover up any of our messes. Not this mess, but. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna hold it like this because I feel like if I make any adjustments, I'm gonna lose this thing. don't want to burn myself and then I also don't want this to fall apart on me okay so I scooted it over a little bit and I'm going to continue going around this sucker so it's partially why I don't like doing the dome but I feel like the dome is so extra and so cool but I if you saw the Tiana one that I showed earlier, I love the way that looks. I think it looks really, really pretty. And then with the top being able to be bigger, then you can also make the middle portion really big too, like her name. So let me show you again what that looks like. I think to me, that's just so, so pretty. All right. Oh my God, I can't even believe that happened. Okay. <laughs> So let's continue on and make sure you get all the way around so that you don't lose any pieces like I did. Okay, so that should be good. Let me move this out of the way. Let that dry for a split second. And then, so you can see the name and you can the bubbles completely engulf that bottom part. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do the bounce on the actual name because you're gonna see, <clears throat> if you see above the V, there are three white balls. And no matter what I do, it's gonna stay on there, but that's okay. All right. Oh my God, I can't even believe that. Okay, with this one. So let's put this down. This is gonna be a hot mess to clean up. All right, so this is our back, right? So I wanna make sure that stays in the back. I'm gonna go over here and you can always adjust this so that it goes with the lid. But anyway, so that's in the back. Then I'm gonna start with the front. 
I want to make sure that this lid, this, I still want to be able to touch it so that I can open it up easily. So I'm going to line this up with my actual, you can see the silver rent tin. Um, it's above the lid. So that's what I'm going to use as a visual for me to line up. And then you can also still feel it right here. So that's what you want to do. When you're lining this up and doing this, don't worry about it because it's super easy. Um, you can see it and I'm telling you, it's not as hard as I'm making it sound. You want to make sure that you get your glue above and below the dome. You want this to stick on, you want the cap to stick on. So, and it's okay to get a lot of glue on here. So I'm going to do the dome and slightly underneath the dome. And that's just going to get me started so that my paper sticks and I don't have to worry about my paper. and just hold it down for a little bit for it to stick. I'm cleaning this up as we go along. Okay, so that's on pretty well. All right, so let's make our way across. Remember, put and I would just do a little bit at a time so that I can make sure that my glue is totally good. and that you have time to line it up. It's like I said, it's very easy to line up. And I think you can actually even see the lid right here, but you can hear it, right? All right. Okay, let's continue. All right, so that side's done. I'm gonna go all the way. Make sure I get all my glue bits out. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this side and do the same thing over here. Make sure you get glue on the top of the dome and the bottom. And this will at some point just kind of line itself up. So it's really, really easy to do. And this one will overlap a little bit. Okay, all right. It's like a ghost. You can kind of feel it, kind of maybe have a feeling that something's there, but then you don't really see it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make sure that it overlaps here and it gets a good chunk of glue. All right, so. That is on, it's so pretty. All right, so all that is left is this pretty little piece right here. And I put this on last because I wanted to make sure not to get in the way of the lid. So this is gonna stay down a little bit lower so that it doesn't get in the way. Okay, so again, on this one, I would double up and then make sure that I get some glue on there so it doesn't fall off. I'm gonna have so much fun cleaning this up. <laughs> okay, so that's down so you can see. All right. So I'm just gonna hold that, get my glue in there. really making sure that it's staying on. And we are done. There's our cute little Elena Avalar. And look at the name, I love the name. 
All right. <laughs> That's all I have for you. Let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Post your comments and I will help you out next time. Bye.